guys, this is Katja with Creators Image Studio. I am showing you a fairy tale treasures mini album today. And this is sort of the same principle as my Butterflies and Stars keepsake album and also my Flora and Fauna keepsake album. So you can check those out if you haven't. So this is the same basic principle. It's sort of a gatefold cover with a double spine, as I call it. So let's do the front and the back covers first. Now the paper that I used is Once Upon a Time by DCWV. And this is actually the second issue of that paper stack. They came out with Once Upon a Time years ago. And then I think last year or maybe two years ago, they came out with sort of a second issue of that same stack. So some of the papers are still the same as the first issue and there are some new sheets to it as well. And you can check out my paper walkthrough of that paper and I'll put a link in the uh, comment section. Anyway, so this is the front cover and I have chosen sort of a roses theme, soft colors with feathers and leaves here that I glued to the cover. And here is the castle. I think this is supposed to be like Sleeping Beauty's castle. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Very dreamy, very fairy tale like. And the back, look how gorgeous this paper is. The glitter is is all in the paper itself. And it has sort of a fairy tale book, fairy tale story print here. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And I embellished it with two uh, burgundy red ribbons to give it a sort of a chic finish. So it's like this on the other side. And then let's open it up. And first off we see another castle here. So this is sort of a castle's theme. Here is one and here is another one. And look at the cute butterfly here. Just a tiny detail in the paper as well. Okay, let's open the elm and first I'm going to do this while standing it upright and I will show you in a minute why. So let's open it up like sort of a treasure chest almost. And look what's going on here. Now this is the reason I wanted it to stand upright for a moment because this is a new kind of closure that I came up with to hold this flap because I did not want to use a magnet or Velcro or maybe a ribbon or something. I wanted to come up with something original now this album is for my friend Nicole. Hi Nicole! And Nicole has two cute terriers, one Cairn Terrier and one West Highland White Terrier, also known as the Westie. And here is a very cute keychain with a Westie and I wanted to use that and incorporate it in the mini album. So um, I decided to use this as a closure because this is quite a, a weighty uh, keychain. And so I uh, thought I might use that weight to actually hold this flap closed. And that worked brilliantly because now you only have to put this aside and then the flap opens. So simple as that, just use the weight and then you close it again by dangling it in front of it. So simple and it just works. Also, I added my little handmade charm here that I add to all of my mini albums. Now I will lie this book down. All right. You also already saw this flap open, so let me show that again. Now here is a tag. You can use it as a uh, journaling spot or even as a photo mat. It's blank on the other side. And then here it says fairest of them all. So this is of course a reference to Snow White and the mirror of the evil stepmother that says who is the fairest of them all. And I chose this paper here because this little Westie here is actually a female dog. So Nicole's dog that is. So she to Nicole is of course the fairest of them all. And this is a tag booklet actually. Just left it plain so you can use it as a journal or as a photo mat. Just what you want. Alright, so 
Let's open this up. Now this page assembly here is actually the same construction that I used in my Butterflies and Stars album. So here is a large page assembly attached to the inside front cover. It has two pockets here and I added some tags. Added a little flower to it in burgundy red and then added a gold uh, flower. And the other one has a bow and this one has simply a gold eyelet. Now here you can see I used an entire 12 inch sheet of paper so I continued the pattern on both pages here. This way you can really enjoy the beautiful patterns in your paper. And this one is of course one that matches, for instance here this castle, the burgundy red. So gorgeous, gorgeous paper line. Now here, when you close this, this has a pocket here on the side and it says there lived a handsome prince. So you have once upon a time, there lived a handsome prince. This could be maybe a reference to uh, Nicole's other dog, which is a male dog, a Cairn Terrier. So now we have both the female and the male dog in this first uh, page assembly. And then here is another tag with a bow. Okay, then here is the first page of three that are actual mini album pages. And these all have a large side pocket that is a large tag in the side pocket. And they are all with a sort of a, a border pocket or a border uh, that you can clasp so like a tag or a photo. I created some photo mats and some tags for journaling already. So these go into the side pocket here and then here is also a top pocket. Very large one, large photo mat. I just added a flower for fun and this gives you lots of room for photos but also for journaling. And with this dark colored uh, paper you can of course use your gel pens and write with gold or with silver or all kinds of niceness. Now here is a little treasure. I added a nice flower bread too. And then here is another um, well, little space for a journaling or for adding a little photo, a little picture. Okay, next page. Uh, here is what I have dubbed a pattern pocket, by which I mean sort of a slip pocket, but then uh, by making use of the pattern in the paper. So just, I will remove the tag for now. So the pattern here actually has a castle, as you can see, and then I just chose the pattern to follow it with my craft knife and then uh, inked along the edges. And then you have a hidden pocket or what I am calling a pattern pocket. And I just added a photo mat here. Next page, also gorgeous paper. Um, let me show you the side pocket first, the photo mat there. Again, like I said, the border pocket here with a tag, other side as well. And here is a ribbon pool and this holds down a booklet. Look how the pattern here continues, but then it flaps open a second time. And there's a great assembly with a pocket here, little tag, room for photos, photos, photos. So, and then it closes with a magnet, like so. And here again, the large photo mat with a rose this time. Here is a pocket assembly. And the photo mat that goes here is the same blue, right? So it matches the colors. So a pocket assembly and it has two photo mats. There's room for a third and the pockets go all the way down. So this actually offers you room for a very large photo mat. And I embellished these two tags here with some stickles. And of course I chose some colors that will match the paper. So blue and green for this paper here. 
Now this page here also has a gorgeous pattern paper with a crown and it has some glitter here, the paper that is, and the same goes for here for the leaves also with the glitter. Very gorgeous paper and I decided to continue that here in this border pocket so the pattern continues here and again the tag. Now here is another uh, flap that you can open with the ribbons. The difference is that the eyelet now is in the base paper that is not in the uh, tag itself but above it. And I added some flowers here and then it opens and it has a little belly band and I'll put a little tag here or maybe a picture. And then here again the larger photo mat embellished with the flower and then I simply glued a rose on top of this flower so it's actually a double. Now for the last page I'm going to stand this album upright again to show you another one of these keychain closures and this is the second terrier the Cairn terrier so this is Nicole, it's supposed to be Nicole's uh, cairn, cute, huh? And this holds the flap here with its weight. And you open it up like so, and like so. Look at the gorgeous paper. This is the, the frog that is also a prince if you kiss it. Maybe you remember this from the fairy tales. And then if you open this pocket here, there is Kiss a Frog. So this is a continuing theme here. And then here is room for journaling or maybe even a photo. And I attach that with some what I call screw brads. And then here is a large, large pocket that has its own little pocket on the closure flap here. And this holds a tag booklet. Very simple, you can write it or uh, put some photos. And here I glued some, well it's just dimensional stickers, glitter stickers that I found match this paper perfectly. Like so, and this is the same sort of dimensional sticker. Now here is another sort of pull. And I already showed you this, but this is a very deep pocket. Double hinge here, so as to give you some extra depth here. This will hold a lot, a lot, a lot of your photos. Okay, so then the inside flap, it has a little pocket here and a cute little tag of its own. And again, one of the glitter dimensional stickers to stay in theme. Gorgeous, gorgeous page. So yeah, this was my Fairy Tale Treasures mini album. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.